Hello Ratbags, it's Jay Plays Games. Welcome to an ARC News update. We've got so much to go through today, guys. Update 258. Boats, toilets, a load of shit. We'll come back to that last one in a minute. But starting off, we've got update version 258 coming to PC on May the 30th. This really could be one of the last major content updates you're going to get on ARC before release. It's adding the last creatures that we know about added to the game. After this, there are some dossiers that were sort of rumoured or leaked, but none of them have actually been officially released. So this is the last lot of them, the Hyendon, the Esperonsis, the Megatherium, the Megalania and Utranus. Basically a hyena, we've got some sort of weird lizard creature, another T-Rex Carnotaur style one with feathers, and a bigger, larger Calfifinium. And Esperonis, which is also like some sort of watery bird, I do believe. But the biggest thing going on there is, look at that gas-powered speedy motorboat. If you checked out my Myths and Truths video on Arc 5 Evolved, you know I debunked the fact that they hadn't been working on the boat for ages and ages and hadn't released anything. Looks like I'll have to update that video now because they are about to release a motorboat. I'm pretty sure it's in response to everyone moaning about the leads destroying all their rafts. So I'm hoping that the leads won't be able to destroy this motorboat. Now to be fair, this news came out yesterday, but I've just been feeling a bit rough. So I didn't get a chance to do a video, but I'm bringing it to you now. The motorboat is coming in Arc 258. Now you can put a fancy new toilet on your fancy new motorboat. That's right people, a toilet. Kotaku, a gaming website, has got the scoop, literally, of shit. We are getting a working toilet in Ark Survival Evolved, people. And not only that, there is actually going to be something on the HUD that will tell you when you need to go poo. So if you're desperate for that fertiliser and you haven't got any creatures, you're going to know when you're going to drop something and you can quickly go to the toilet and collect it up. And just in case you did want the close-up of the crapper, here you go. Obviously something really stupid and really silly. Obviously the fancy new speedboat is what we're looking forward to. Who knows what it's going to look like, I doubt very much it's going to be exactly like the model that was shown off in the development kit over a year ago. Since we haven't seen any other information about it or any other screenshots since then, I'm hoping it's undergone a few changes because it did just look a little bit out of place. No word yet on how you unlock it, whether it's associated with tech tier or anything like that. I can't imagine so, I don't think it is. It looks to be just like another upgrade. So that's why my thumbnail was like that and that's why the show is shit today. If you want to go and read that article, I'll leave the link to the Kotaku article in the description down below. So, back to the update patch notes. We've also got the harpoon gun, so if you are still mucking around on rafts and you can't get a motorboat, or if the motorboat still isn't protection against the big Moby Dick, you can get your harpoon gun out and gat him. Also, they're adding more achievements to the game. This has definitely been something that's been underdone, obviously as it's been early access, and hopefully you won't be able to cheat your way through them. On Xbox and PS4 you can pretty much get every achievement or trophy in 2 or 3 minutes. As you can cheat, the game doesn't recognise that you're using commands. And apparently these achievements or trophies will unlock more cosmetics, hairstyles and emotes. Two brand new hairstyles and apparently lots and lots and lots of bug fixes. It really could be the last major content update. Before now on release I expect to see just very small, tiny incremental performance updates. And I know a little further out still has stuff on it like new structures, more creatures, gear, armor, weapon structures, boss wars. But I truly believe this lot will not be happening until after launch or actual part of the launch day. Generally when games launch from early access they always hold something back specifically for release day. Whether it's the final boss, whether it's end game content. As we've had all the end game content barring the mystery last piece of the ascension puzzle. Boss Wars looks like it could be the last thing we get on update day on the game's actual official release. I'm still calling it, I'm putting the release date as June and I've got to hold on to that guys. Tiny bit of info about Primal Survival, I know you guys have been asking for it, you guys have been letting me know in the comments section why I haven't spoke about it in a while. Like I say, I don't hyper bowl stuff just for the fun of it. I could bang out a video every week telling you guys that Primal Survival still isn't out and it'd get me thousands of views. But the fact is, until I get some meaningful information, there is no way I'm going to do some bait clicky video. I reserve my bait clicky video for when there's a slight truth or slight element or slight chance of that stuff actually coming. At the moment, Art Prime Survival is not on the radar. Again, it could be something they launch. 
Maybe they've been keeping it secret, so it's again something to get the hype up for when the actual game officially launches. We just don't know. But someone asked Jack on the Community Crunch this week, and he replied back, we don't work on Ark Park, as someone had already asked what was going on with that too. And they don't really do anything to do with that, they just basically give them the op option to use all their creatures. But Jack has replied back to the Primal Survival question, I don't really have any news to share. When I do, I'll let you know. Right now the team is focused entirely on development of the main game and wrapping up its content. So it looks like it really has been jettisoned. Bearing in mind another studio is actually working on it, although Instinct Games have increasingly become a part of Ark's wildcard's actual business. So it's totally up in the air whether or not we'll actually see this mod any time this year. And just the last couple things to go through. Primitive Plus has been heavily iterated on. They fixed over 200 fixes at the weekend, and this is on PC where they're operating a Primitive Plus beta. Recently on Xbox and PS4 you should have had a lot of the issues and problems corrected and while you still might be waiting on certain aspects of it to be implemented, at least it should be not as buggy. There were some issues with the PS4 version when the last update hit but that got corrected with a hotfix. And again Jack's just replying saying exactly what I said there that they fixed a bunch of problems and they're working hard on it. Did you know if you lose your dinosaur you can get help? You don't ring the police, you ring Adam at the little panda on Twitter. Or you go to actually the art customer support page. This little post is just telling people that support is beginning lost and stuck dino retrieval again. Make sure to submit a ticket with as much information as possible. So if one of your creatures has been stuck in a rock, maybe it's glitched into a cave and fallen down. As long as you've got some details exactly where it is, you might actually be able to get it. Now if you've just forgotten where your dinosaur is, like I do every other day, then don't submit a ticket. It's more for people that have actually had their dinosaurs glitch. And lastly, someone was complaining about the fact that some of the blueprints are just impossible to craft. If you didn't know, you can craft a lot of the higher blueprints in a beaver or a tech replicator. But even then, you still need a crazy amount of resources and slots to actually do it. Jack said they are looking at a plan to reduce some of these requirements. But it won't be till release, certainly not at the moment. So hold off if you manage to get any of them ascendant blueprints. Don't go chucking them away just yet. Fingers crossed you'll actually be able to craft and make them in the future and a big shout out to the dodo rex app it's hit 1 million downloads the dodo rex is a fantastic app it does all sorts of things and while there is another app called survive the art which is also very good the dodo rex has really got a handle on lots of lots of different aspects so big congratulations to them and the twerking dodos 1 million downloads for an app for a game that hasn't even released is a phenomenal amount it just goes to show how much information you need to play this game. That's why tutorials and guides, that's why they're so popular on this game and that's why I do so many of them. So speaking of tutorials and guides, I want you to let me know what you'd like to see more of. If you hadn't noticed, I've been concentrating a little bit more on that sort of aspect, just like I told you in my channel update I would. As the game comes up to full release, I plan to have every single creature done and dusted in my Tame series as well as Scorched Earth. I will be finishing off my A to Z of Arc, which I've not touched for like four months. And I plan to readjust, refigure, and basically tidy up any other tutorials I've done that I feel like more information is needed or there's new information to add. So leave the comments section what tutorials, what you find the hardest things to understand. I'll also put my links to my tutorial videos I've already done. As you can bet, I've probably covered nearly everything. Huge, huge stuff going on with me at the moment, guys. I'm working so hard on my content. So apologies if I don't get back to you on Twitter or I'm not replying back on comments as much. I really haven't got the time at the moment because I'm dedicated to getting all my content out and done. I'm really not had a chance even just to kick back and do any content with friends or just even catch up on other people's content. My plan is after spring break next week, I should be a little bit more time friendly and I'll be able to get back in touch with some people and actually take a look at what Sub's been doing and helping them out a little bit more. And lastly, it's self promo time. If you don't know, I'm actually currently out of work. I've took a little break and I don't plan to go back to work until the end of summer. I really want to make a go of it with YouTube and I'm nowhere near the level where I can make it an actual full time job. The general advice is that you should never even be contemplating that until you've got at least a million views a month and maybe close to 90, 100,000 subscribers. But I have got the opportunity for the next few months. My rent is paid. I've got money for food. So I'm determined to get as much content out 
and make sure I grow my channel in the right way by doing things you guys want to see as well as stuff I want to do. Part of that is Patreon. Every YouTuber on Arc seems to have a Patreon page and for a good six, seven months now I've been researching looking at it. I've always had one set up but I've not always paid attention to it, I've not always promoted it the way I should. But I'm relaunching it, I've adjusted lots of new tiers and even without the golden chalice which is PS4 or Xbox servers I do plan to offer rewards. As soon as we get rentable servers I will be opening up a PS4 and an Xbox One, probably PVE servers. But I am also actually going to set up a PC server as well. So if you're a big fan of my channel, if I've ever helped you out, go and take a look at it. You can get some cool features just for $1 a month. And obviously if you want to help my channel grow and you want me to achieve more of what I can do, then you're more than welcome to go ahead and try any of the other tiers. I've also got some merchandise coming very, very soon. My designer is working on refreshing my wrap bag. So expect to see that come the end of May, beginning of June. So there you go, I don't do it often enough and don't worry I'm not going to be doing every episode because it annoys the shit out of me. But now and then I will just give you a little reminder telling you guys to go and check out my content. This is in fact a better way to support me rather than actually even giving me super chat. I have been streaming a lot more and I do plan to do a little bit more on Twitch. But instead of giving me something on super chat, go ahead and subscribe to Patreon for a couple months instead. Anywho, enough of me waffling on about myself. Loads of good stuff with art content coming up. It's coming towards the end. I'm so sad. I don't know what I'm going to do. Of course, I'm not going to just stop all of a sudden. There is going to be loads to cover. Once the game's launched, we've still got to look forward to possibly some of the mods coming to console. And eventually, if they ever get it bloody sorted, Primal Survival. And the game is still going to constantly be updated. So my channel will not be dying or slowly moving on to other things. I'm always going to be an ARC channel because it's the content that's made me. And I can't thank ARC and the people that have watched more. But I will be putting more content and you know I always put more content out on my channel. So expect to see a lot more of that in live streams. So there we go. I'm Joe Plays Games. Thank you for watching. Hit me up with a like and I'll be back for more news very soon. Bye bye.